Oh hi guys, as you can tell I brought the my mirror, my trusty old mirror. Is it dirty? No, you guys don't care. It's fine. Um, I brought my mirror from my office because I really wanted to see you in the face. Face to face, you guys, as always. Today is Wednesday and today I am going to uh, I'm going to work on my graphic novel because it's finally the day I've been the reason why I went to the studio you guys is because I needed this um, studies I did I did a couple of months ago let me show you so I don't know if you can see but these are the studies that I sorry for the shaky cam yeah I just I'm drinking coffee I shake uh, <laughs> so I am I did these studies a couple of months ago because I feel really nervous about approaching a graphic novel. Um, I, I really suck at drawing backgrounds. So I'm like, maybe if I do the studies, I will feel more comfortable drawing this massive thing, beast. Um, so right now, since I'm officially doing 
the panels. I'm drawing the panels in the frames and everything. I needed these studies because there's one background in particular that I don't remember how I did it. I think it's one of these actually. So, I mean, there was... Um, the, I had more reasons <laughs> to go to my studio, but this was one of them. And um, also, I brought... I also brought this bag, you guys. I wanted to save this um, art supplies for a special occasion. I brought these in my last trip to Tokyo. And I'm like, yes, I'm going to save them for a special occasion and stuff like that. But right now, I feel like... I need some love in the stationery department and like the art supply department so I <laughs> this is a really nice special occasion in order to do that I don't know if you guys are also breaking your like I'm gonna save this for later and now I feel it's the time to you know like spoil ourselves so I brought this pencil so this is a Mitsubishi pencil I love this pencil so much my cousin got this to me as a gift. I think I already mentioned this on a previous video. There you go. This is the one. This is the one you guys. I mean, this one has an eraser. This one doesn't. But I feel like it should be the same. So that's what we're going to do this afternoon. Draw this. Drink this. And we'll be fine. It's going to be a very nice afternoon. And after that, I'm going to play Animal Crossing like there's no tomorrow.
Hi you guys, welcome. I'm making some coffee right now. Today is the gloomiest day ever. Um, I always try to film, I'm not gonna lie, with the nicest lighting because I, I got, God, I love natural light. Um, but today is super gloomy day. It's been raining like crazy all morning. I actually wanted to do um a flood tour not a flood tour but like a living room tour that ain't gonna happen today no <laughs> but um how are you guys i'm making coffee right now i spend um an hour or so getting back to people um answering messages and comments um and today i had all of these amazing expectations of a nice video that I wanted to record um, but the lighting though <laughs> believe it or not guys I still I'm still using a planner because even though a lot of people were like the worst idea of 2020 is using a planner um, I'm still using one because it keeps me grounded it, um, it makes me feel like I'm doing things this is like the worst possible angle there you go I'm gonna hunch for you um, it is taking a shower. This is like our usual Monday situation. But yeah, I, I'm still using a planner because I feel like all days feel the same right now, my loves. And I feel like when I'm having a planner and I'm spreading my to-do lists across the week, I feel like every week, I mean, every day feels different every day is different because i'm doing different things in every day <laughs> could i repeat that more times anyway um so i know it's kind of like a waste of time and um a lot of people seem to not like the idea of using a planner uh, right now but i find it quite useful so for today we have to film this video i also have to answer e emails and messages which i already did and I also have to record a really quick casual video for Patreon because that's um, something that I usually do. I check in with my Patreons at the beginning of every week. Uh, my battery is about to run out, so give me one second. So for today, guys, we have to paint about three pages. I don't know if you can see them. Um, and I'm also going to use wash today, but I would love to keep experimenting with um, a technique that I use for a live stream a couple of days ago. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I usually paint my sketchbook with wash, of course, and I do this like very light yellow layer, and then I overlay other colors on top. I don't know if you can see this yellowy, uh, and then I put the red on top. So it gives all of the colors like a yellow warm undertone. But this time, I'm like, I'm gonna spice things up. And I decided to paint it, uh, paint it pink instead. So it's very subtle and you know, you might not even notice, but um, I think it looks super cool. Um, you can see even like the pink peeping through. I don't know if that's something you say, uh, but I would love to keep experimenting with this because I really enjoy the results. And usually in my sketchbook, I ex tend to experiment this um different shadings or different ways of painting and sketching so we're going to do this today Hi guys, 
How are you? Welcome to not only my bedroom, but this very soothing and cozy voiceover. I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry if you can hear background noises like sirens and the train passing by. This is one of the downsides of living in Brooklyn. But anyway, I wanted to do this voiceover while you can see me paint. Look at that brush. Those brush dogs. Um, because I realized that uh, I left a lot of questions and answered, none answered. How do you say that? I didn't answer all of the questions that you guys wrote on a couple of videos ago. So here I am answering them. The first one is from Katie and she asks, how are you and Ed doing with being together 24-7? Um, we're doing amazing actually. Um, the thing is, Katie, something you need to know. <laughs> uh, God, I'm so condescending. Anyway, uh, that Ed and I are, uh, luckily we're being able to work whilst uh, being self-isolating so he's focusing a lot on his phd and i am with you guys most of the time and also working on my graphic novel and things so since we're both really busy and working alongside on the same table we even though we are together physically in the same room but we are not talking that much to each other um, unless it's like lunchtime or if I'm making some snacks and something I really love about Ed well I love a lot of things about him he's my he's my husband you know uh, I guess I'm supposed to like him but something I really love about him is that he's really respectful about me times so it's really weird to um, ask someone you love and care like a friend or a partner or a family member that you want to be by yourself because they always tend to take it on a wrong way like you don't want to be with me so that's why you want to be alone but something really important that i really appreciate about it is that he absolutely understands that i need to be by myself every once in a while and uh, I recharge my energy when I'm by myself and I need some alone time every once in a while and that doesn't mean necessarily that I don't want to be with him or that I'm mad with like with him do you say that anyway so I really love that he's so understanding about uh, me wanting to have me time so that has been some key points during this quarantine slash self-isolating uh, period and um, something that it, it's been helping me a lot and I don't know I, I I'm making no sense but I hope I'm making sense uh, Josephine asks what was your favorite toy as a kid <laughs> I don't know if I've ever answered this before but um when I was about six or seven my mom bought for me um, she gave me one of these like paper dolls but it was like a Miss Piggy paper doll. This was way before I knew was like who Miss Piggy was. I didn't know her character at all. So to me, it was just like an amazing pig that dresses amazing, uh, that has amazing dresses. So I used to take this Miss Piggy paper doll set wherever I went. So, because since it was paper, it was really light to carry and I used to um, carry it on an envelope, a paper envelope. One day, of course, tragedy uh, went down and I took my Miss Piggy with me on a bus ride and since she was my best friend, I put the envelope full of um, her dresses and herself, obviously on my on my this the seat next to me and i don't know what happened maybe like the the bus uh, broke or like uh, i don't know it was very sudden but i i lost most of the dresses because they fell down the seat and i was crushed and um a couple of years ago well i told this story to ed and he managed to track down the paper doll set and he gave it to me for i think a christmas present and I cried like a baby because I couldn't believe I, I saw those, um, like the dresses and Miss Piggy itself, like the same one I used to have. And it was a very emotional gift. But anyway, that was my favorite gift. Uh, my favorite, uh, I mean, favorite gift and favorite toy as a kid. Uh, Star Mix, she asks, what are your favorite flowers? 
Uh, also, I don't know if I've ever said this before, but my favorite tree and flower happens to be the magnolia. I don't know if you say that in English with that accent, but I love magnolias. And I love that the only way to appreciate magnolias is on the tree. Like, I mean, I don't know if you can cut down magnolias. I know they're very gentle and fragile, but I every time I come across a magnolia tree, I just, I had to stop and witness that amazing piece of art because I think they're such wonderful and gorgeous trees. I would love to someday have a piece of land with a magnolia tree because, oh man, that would be a dream come true. Uh, I don't know if you can hear the, the train passing by. Violeta asks, how were your beginnings in Chile? How was your experience in university? Man, uh, my experience in university was um, great. I started graphic design and halfway the career I realized I wanted to be an illustrator. It was difficult at times, Violeta, because I didn't... I had friends I liked, but I didn't have any close, close, close friends. And I felt alone most of the time. Um, and also I felt really insecure because I didn't have the means um, aka the money to buy any books and to I didn't I, I couldn't afford the nicest computer I couldn't I couldn't afford the the nicest tablet I couldn't travel all of my classmates were traveling and like buying amazing books and I'm like I am never going to be able to do this ever in my life um, it was frustrating at the time but now looking back I really appreciate not having the nicest things because it made me get used to a feeling really appreciative when I had the night like the ni really nice things or like um, invest in really good art supplies uh, but also made me do my best performance in terms of like art and research and doing the best I can with the cheapest resources ever. I think nowadays, and I, I, I am absolutely guilty of the same situation, but we put a lot of pressure having the nicest tablet and the nicest computer. Everything has to be like insanely expensive. Otherwise, if you don't have the nicest gadgets, you're going to be the worst illustrator artist ever. And I think that's not true. And I'm so happy I had to go through that in order to realize you don't need the nicest tools to be a great artist. Um, I hope I answer <laughs> your question. Last but not least, Elise, Elise, um, I'm hoping I'm saying your name correctly. When you and Ed talk to each other, do you usually speak English or Spanish? We do it in Spanish, unless there's one person in the room that only speaks English, we speak Spanish and we speak the worst Chilean Spanish ever. <laughs> oh man, people say that uh, Chilean Spanish is the worst Spanish ever. Uh, I think it's amazing. Uh, also true because Chilean Spanish is super difficult to understand because we have so many lingos and like weird words. I think Mexican Spanish is the best Spanish because you Mexicans, you're, yeah, you have the, you have the best Spanish. Anyway, uh, that, those were all the questions. Thank you so much, guys. You guys, we're finally done. It's 6 p.m. I'm tired. I mean, am I tired? No, I'm like, I'm wired. This coffee that I made recently, just, you, you can't see it, but it's, oh god mwah. i really look forward every time i make coffee so um this is not a coffee yet but anyway i really enjoy working on my sketchbook but since i have done that quite recently i don't want to bore you guys because um even though i'm an I'm a, i am an illustrator and this is what i'm supposed to do and generally this week i really needed to make some progress with my sketchbook i tend to vary the topic of each and every single video as I go so we don't have the same topics or like the same things every single week uh, so I hope you don't mind that we have so many sketchbook painting sessions in a row uh, now I think I'm going to play Animal Crossing because yesterday was bunny day and um, today I think I'm going to have like a new building in my island I'm quite new into um, Animal Crossing I don't know if you realize but I'm really excited and um, I really enjoy playing Animal Crossing. Why is it's daytime? Because I love how the island looks 
during daytime instead of nighttime. So I think 6 p.m. I still can catch the sun, uh, the sunset. Here it's been raining all day long. I don't know if you wanna talk about the weather, but it's been raining, pouring rain all day long. So it's been super cozy to be here with the cats, drinking coffee, painting. This is like perfect, the perfect day. And I spend it with you, 10 extra points. This is amazing. This is the best day ever. <laughs> Generally, this is the best day ever. Uh, tomorrow, on the other hand, is going to be a very boring day because I have to edit. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't like editing. It's, um, it's the thing that I don't like about um, having a YouTube channel. So I try to make it as quick as possible. And tomorrow, you're going to see in a couple of seconds, because I'm going to keep filming tomorrow. Ed and I bought um, tapioca to make bubble tea because tomorrow beep, 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 we turned five weeks in uh, doing self-isolation we can't do this every week but every week anniversary of doing self-isolation we try to do something special so we're not we're doing we're gonna do some uh, bubble tea tomorrow it it now that i think about it it's been a couple of Tuesdays in which we have been done this before because I've shown you this before. So anyway, bubble tea is our celebration. Homemade bubble tea is our celebration for doing self-isolation and like not seeing anyone. Anyway, you guys, you know what self-isolation is. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Thank you for keeping me company. And now I'm going to play Animal Crossing. Bye. Hi guys, um, I came to my bathroom <laughs> because Ed is doing like a weird class exercise, like vocal exercise, and I just wanted to be alone with you for a second. Um, that bubble tea though was amazing. Um, I know you guys are not going to misunderstand when I say like Ed and I are celebrating our fifth week because there's nothing to celebrate with coronavirus, but um, when you have been doing self-isolation for so long, um, sometimes it's nice to treat, treat oneself, uh, if, if that's even a possibility. But um, we try to be super gentle to ourselves, so that's why every once in a while we like to, um, I don't know, say thanks to the possibility that we can stay inside and do this like spice things up and do something nice for ourselves so that's why I just wanted to say that disclaimer because it sounded like I was celebrating coronavirus and I'm not but anyway I just wanted to say before we leave I wanted to deeply thank my patrons for allowing me to be doing this in the first place we are nice humans my online store even though it's open it's been paused the shipping has been paused until further notice so the only way I'm allowing to live right now and pay for the rent of my studio, which I'm not using and I have been using in more than a month now, is because of you guys. So thank you so much patrons for allowing me to keep, you know, buying food and <laughs> existing. And it's all thanks to you and I have no idea what I will do without you. So thank you so much for all your support and for being here. Thank you also guys for watching this video and for being patient regarding the uploading. I will work really hard to keep uploading videos as much as I can because I know you guys want the videos right now. I know because I, I want content more than any than ever. So yeah, I love you so much, you guys. See you next week. Please stay safe. Uh, my mirror is clean, so thank God. <laughs> I love you and see you next week. Bye, you guys!